Hi, today we're going to make a tab for our book page and our old book that we're making into a journal. So it's this altered book journal series and we're coming right along in the book and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to put this cute little page tab on there and then the cute little bulb pin that I made is going to hang right off of that in one of these little open uh, weave of the little lace. <clears throat> Alright, so all I did, this is so quick and easy to do, and then I'm going to show you a pocket that I've made. So out of the collage page that I made for my journal, which is this here, so I used the napkin, the fabric, the laces, and onto a piece of cardstock, decoupaged, and then I sewed it with a sewing machine, and then <clears throat> cut it down to fit into an envelope. So now these are the pieces that I had left over from that same collage page. And what I'm going to do is glue first the, two, the piece of lace to these two pieces of cardstock. And then what I'm going to come in here, and one is going to go on this page. And then when you turn it, the other one is going to come over here on this page. So a little piece of the lace needs to come down there. And then just line up the two, and you have this little piece sticking out. So then when you close the book, you see that little bit of lace right there. So all the little dangles is what we're working on now. So as we finish each collage page, then we come back in and make a little dangle to hang off another little charm. All right, so all I need to do is, first of all, turn my two pieces upside down <clears throat> and glue this piece of lace to it. So I'm using my Aileen's Tacky Glue Mod Podge mixture is what I use. Just the width of the lace. And then I have a piece of wax paper or a napkin or another piece of paper. I usually don't like to use paper, I like to use the wax paper. And I can, because you don't want the paper, because the paper will stick to it stick to the glue. All right, now you can peel that up. Do the same thing on the other side. And then now the only thing I need to do is make sure these are being lined up. And then when I tr close it, so that's another thing I want to double check. So this is going to go at the edge of the book. So let me see where I've got this. Okay, so this one's going to go here. That's good. All right, so let's do it that way. So I'm going to glue this on to the book first. I want close it up and see because I have the other little dangle here. I've got one sticking out here. So I may want to bring him down a smidge. Yeah, so then he's not, this one's not going to, you know, of course the little other doodad is going to hang off of that lace here. Yeah, that looks cute. Okay. All right, looking good, looking good. All right, so we're going to move this out of the way. It's drying. And then when I finish his drying, I will show you. So by the time I finish doing all this, <clears throat> it should be dry. All right, so let's take a look at it again. What am I, what am I, what am I doing? Okay, so this whole piece, okay, is going to be glued to the book. All right. That's the thing I'm looking at. Do I, did I need to, but no. So it's going to be flush with the page. All right, let's come down here, close it up again. Yep, I like that, okay. So that's good. Our wax paper. And I put the wax paper underneath of it to protect it so any glue that would might seep out won't go on my page underneath and glue my pages together. Okay. See? So now that's stuck to that. So now I'm going to just fold this over because this is still wet. Now I'm going to lay the wax paper here. 
And now I have this where I can line it up. Okay, so I can see this little corner sticking out right there. Okay, yep. Now I just want to bend the lace over. Determine how much of it I want to have showing out. Okay. See, I didn't put the cap back on and put it in my jar, and then that's what happened. All right, so now we're going to put the cap back on. That tip definitely works. You want to put the cap back on. All right, now put the lace on here first. And then hopefully enough of it will seep through. And then we put it over here. Now... Can, well, I don't want that one gluing to that one. Okay, so I'm lining it back up again. All right, I'm just going to mash it with my fingers. Hold that down. Okay. Just applying a little bit of pressure. Okie dokie. Now, of course, I can't probably put the bulb pin on it right at this second because of the weight of it. <clears throat> Might pull that, but I can do it while it's laying down. So we just open it up. And I get my bulb pens off of bbcraft.com. <clears throat> B E E B E E Craft. Com. And it came, came in an assortment pack, so it was a really good deal. Okay, there you go. So now I've got my little bulb charm hanging off of there, my little charm, and I made out of the exact same paper as my journal. And then when this is closed... Now look at how pretty that is. So now I have a little piece of lace sticking out, saying hello. <clears throat> and another little charm, cardstock, and a button, and a bead, and a little circle disc, and this little note card here. Okay, so isn't that cute? Very cute. So I like this. This is the first time that I've ever added all these little danglies hanging off of a journal, so I'm, I'm really liking it. <laughs> it's very, very cool. Very cute. I like that. Just gives it a lot of character. Now let me show you. All right. Flip this over. Keep the wax paper there. It'll hang off the side. Okay, now this page here. Oops. 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 Yes, I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay, so see, this is this is one of those boo-boos that I talk about in my Junk Journal Junction Facebook group. And this was supposed to hang over the side, you see. And then I was supposed to put that charm on there, but now I did it backwards. So that page is going to have to stay like that. And let me see if I can ha find another open book page. Otherwise, this is just going to have to go on a page. And then I will have to decorate this up here. Because I could put it like this. I could. Could, could, could. Let me think about it now. So if I did it like that. But see, I already know. I already glued that down. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Oh, I got ahead of myself because I was waiting on this to dry. There's one of my classic boo-boos. We all make them. All right, let's go back through the page, the book, the book, the book. Okay, that one, it wouldn't work because I have the pocket and the tag. Let me see. I glue it down there. Eh, 
You could still come in and out of there, but it, yeah. Yeah, I guess you could. Maybe I'll just glue it to that one. Don't. Okay, there's one there. Yeah, that was about it. Okay. So does it look good on that page? I don't really like it on that page. <clears throat> no, let's go back here. Got in a hurry. Messed myself up. Okay, I can't see any way I can fix that. Okay, over here. This didn't, I liked it better on the just the plain book page. Hmm. I don't think I don't really like it on that paper. This one, it looks good here. I do like that because all the vintage staining that went on there, this goes good with that. <clears throat> Maybe this is a little bit more muted. Okay, so this is where it's going to go. Naughty, naughty, naughty. But that's okay, you see. This is how we, we show people what we do. We make our own little boo-boos on camera, but that's okay. We can fix it too. So if you make a boo-boo like this, before you put your envelope on there and you glue your tab on, so now I'll just have to decorate this up. So I'll show you this collage technique that I just did here. Okay, but let me open the envelope so you can see how pretty this side turned out. <clears throat> and now the journal slides and fits right in here. Turn it this way. I trimmed it so it can fit right in there. A little snug. I might have to trim off a little bit more. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, it fits. Yeah, it's just snug. But I can trim it if I wanted to. Okay. So this goes in here. So that's where and why I was picking up the fabrics again from here to do this. And then my tab, which now I'm going to have to make another tab. But I'm going to glue this on first before I make that boo-boo again. Alright, so all we're doing is gluing this part of the flap to the book. Okay, so I'm going to hold it like this so that I don't make another boo-boo. Because I'm pretty good at that. Alright, so we're going to just... The whole flap gets to be glued. Put the cap back on. Put it in the jar. Oops! <coughs> Fold this over, mash it down really good. If you have wax paper or your napkin like this, then you it, it gives you a smooth surface to put pressure. If you're trying to smooth it out when you have all this texture going on, that's what makes it difficult to put a lot of pressure on there like you need to do it. So, But the wax paper is better because the, you know this is paper and it's, it's wanting to... Let me see if I can tear off a piece of my... There we go. Now I can put this on top of this, and then I can really, really, really put some pressure and smooth it out. Okay. Yes. Finally. Okay. So now you can see the now that open up like that. And now this will slide in here, quick like a bunny, just like that. Okay, so now you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, and then the journal will come out. All right, so I'm not going to put it in there yet, because all this glue is still drying, and I do not want it to dry on that page. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece of wax paper, and I'm going to put it under here, just in case. 
anything got past me. Then I'll close this over like this and then leave that open like that. Okay, now let's see where I guess I could uh, maybe use a little bit of this part here or just go ahead and put another let's see if I can get it in there and then we don't have to there we go Okay, all right, now, so there's another one. Okay, so there, I have one here hanging off, one here, and one in here. Okay, and then this one, and the little thing up here. So I'll come in and we'll make more hidden paper clips and a cuteness up here at the top, but I think this is pretty good for the side now. I like that. So the same exact style doesn't matter. You can use exactly anything you want to use. It's your journal. So that is how you make a collage envelope for your junk journal made out of an old book, also known as an altered book. So this was an altered book journal making a journal from an old book. Okay, so I'm going to leave that wax paper there, leave that to dry, and then leave this one over here and turn him this way. So this is the fresh glue over there to leave that to dry. And then the journal can go into his little spot when it's all dry. So thank you for being here with me today. If you liked this tutorial, then please um, subscribe to my channel and look out all the information in the description box below. And with my collaborator friend, <clears throat> Linda Coker on her channel, check her out. Our Facebook group, her and I uh, are partners in that. So you'll have a lot of fun if you check that channel out as well. We do a lot of fun activities in our group so that everybody can have a good time every month. And so, um, and then also if you would like to leave me a tip, then you can go over to my Etsy shop and the description is in the, the link for that is in the description below as well. So thank you for being here with me today and letting me be in your life for just a minute and be your craft and sewing buddy. So have a great day and I'll see you again on our next video here at Markets of Sunshine. Bye-bye!